Hi, I am Dr. William Shaver, and I've been a gastroenterologist now for over 30 years. Uh, busy clinical practice, but about 20 years ago, uh, we discovered a fairly simple regimen that seemed to work really well with acute viral infections. And over the years, uh, and my, with my patients, it's worked for the common cold, it's worked for influenza, it's worked for the swine flu. It's probably also going to work for our current pandemic of the COVID-19 virus. Now, at the it's very simple. It's, it's a combination of all of the counter products that are inexpensive, simply vitamin D3, vitamin C, and the probiotic beverage kefir milk. Okay. Now, in the outright, I wanna make it clear, this is uh, not medical treatment. I'm not your doctor. It's important for you to still keep in touch with your physician and your healthcare providers. But what I'm sharing is simply my experience with my patients over this period of time. So take it as you were now. The other thing is this is not FDA approved. I'm a front lines doctor. I don't have the resources to pursue FDA approval. Uh, but the test of time has shown that this can be very, very effective at a very, very low risk uh, of any kind of uh, complications or problems. So uh, very little to lose on this. Now, that's not to say there's not a scientific basis. Um, GI is a great area because the studies have been coming out. So much of your health hinges on the balance in your colon between the trillions of good and the trillions of bad bacteria. There are literally a hundred trillion bacteria in your large intestine. hundred times more metabolic processes going in your gut keeping you healthy than the total rest of your body. And it's a very symbiotic relationship. So we miss that. So keeping these guys happy is a lot of what keeps us healthy. But the problem, so many of us are in trouble because after a lifetime of processed food, artificial sweeteners, our extensive use of antibiotics. We don't consume much fermented food. Almost all of us have a terrible balance in there. And if anything, it just continues to worsen as you get older. Uh, concerning, we're seeing more imbalances in younger and younger people. And uh, if anything, it's the first generation that grew up eating fast food. So it, it's a prevalent problem. And one of the things that probably helps this protocol to work is you rapidly try to just restore a healthier balance in that colon and take the pressure off your immune system. So now reports out of China show that there's a significant presence of the COVID virus in your GI tract. And in fact, a lot of people who are asymptomatic or before they've manifested their respiratory symptoms are already excreting the virus in their stool. Another good reason for strict hand washing procedures but it may be a week or so before you manifest the symptoms and they've shown that almost 30 days afterwards you may still harbor some of this organism in the stool. So again, if you look at those populations that are most at risk for having a bad outcome with the COVID virus, the elderly, uh, the very frail, the chronically ill, those with immune compromise, all of which generally have even worse degrees of dysbiosis and often low vitamin D levels. Now, all of us are being bombarded daily with an incredible amount of information. A lot of it's scary and admittedly, a lot of it depressing. Now, all said though, everything we're being told is vitally important stuff. Social distancing, quarantine, getting tested if you're sick, staying in, all very important stuff. But, you know, we have very little to empower ourselves individually to take charge of our health. And that's one of the things that makes it so difficult, just basically going home, waiting, and seeing if you get terribly ill. Um, so they, they've started to have some talk now on, teach, on treating this, this virus, and uh, it centers on a vaccine, which may take 12 to 18 months. And there are some promising trials coming out on some of the antiviral drugs, but it's FDA protocol, it may take a little while to do this. And then there'll be a question of availability and probably cost when these drugs start to come out. But there are at least some encouraging trials. Now, a third way of treating this that hasn't really been broached is boosting and supporting your own body's immune system and using that to allow you to naturally get over this virus. And I think that's where this regimen really comes in with the C and the vitamin D and the key from milk. So um, here is the basic protocol. And again, it's very, very simple. In your fridge, have several bottles of the key from milk and get a thousand milligram bottle of vitamin D3 and a thousand milligram bottle of vitamin C. Uh, have them ready to go. Now, at the first sign of illness, 
Now, and that could include the respiratory symptoms, but there's what's called a viral prodrome. If you're just getting the headache or the diffuse muscle aches, feeling a little bit feverish, uh, but also GI symptoms. A uh, considerable number may get anorexia, you lose your appetite, nausea, start to have diarrhea, the GI manifestations as well. But as soon as you start feeling poorly, do the regimen. Now, that starts off with a double loading dose or 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, two of the vitamin Cs, two of the vitamin Ds or 2,000 international units and four ounces of Keeper. That's your start. In one hour now, take another 1,000 milligrams C and vitamin D and Kefir, and then every two hours, another 1,000 milligrams of C and D, four ounces of Kefir, for maybe three or four more doses. Literally within six to eight hours, considerable improvement, if not complete resolution of symptoms. As amazingly as it sounds, it can really work, and in that period of time, that much C and D and Kefir is not gonna hurt anything. Actually, I have personal experience with this. Uh, back in 2009, in the middle of my workday, I spiked to 104.5 temp. I was sick as a dog. But I practiced what I preached. I had the C and D and Kiefer in the office. I immediately started the regimen. Um, and within six hours, my fever broke. Normally, you feel like a million bucks after you finish this protocol. But that time, I just didn't feel quite well. So I actually went and saw my doctor. They did the little nasal swab, and I had the swine flu. So the swine flu in 2009-2010 had a 5% mortality. So in a way it worked well, I didn't die, uh, but it just illustrated to me that this can really work again at very little risk. So that's it, this simple of a regimen. Now it's at least something to think about when we're all sitting at home, waiting in lockdown or in quarantine. But my hope is that with this kind of protocol, what we'll start to see is a greater number of people getting over this quickly, meaning getting back to possibly work sooner. The government talks about this peaking and it may help that, uh, but as well, it will maybe decrease the number of people who are hospitalized, seriously ill, those that die and those that end up in ventilators, which is again, the, the biggest fear that we all have. So another possibility is if this could be used by the first responders, the front lines people in the hospitals and clinics, our firemen, our policemen, EMS people, and the military. You know, as a society, we really can't afford to have that criti critical group of people uh, go down or go into, uh, you know, weeks of quarantine. So, so again, uh, in our office, we keep bottles of the 1,000 milligrams C and 1,000 milligrams D, keep them in the refrigerator. And anytime any of us get sick, you just simply do the regimen. And no one in my office has been out or sick more than six hours in probably 10 years. So now one final caveat is I'm an adult gastroenterologist. I've never treated kids. This regimen that I'm describing today has only been used on adults. So it's not to say you might check with your pediatrician. There may be appropriate doses for children depending on their age. But for now, this, this is being offered as a possibility mainly for adults. Now, we're being told daily, and, and I certainly agree, that we will survive this, okay? We are going to get over this, but at least this is something that's inexpensive, easily available, that can empower us to have at least something to try while you're getting sick. So I really encourage you to check this out, give it a try, and while you're home and lock-in, Use the opportunity to hug your kids, tell your family stories, look out for your neighbors.